in an age of lawlessness and despair. The Empire of Man lay in ruins, torn asunder by civil war, and racked by famine and plague. Desperate, unscrupulous men deserted the temples of their fathers and gathered in forbidden cults, seeking the favor of the Dark Gods. And so it was, in the year 2301, that a Kurgan warlord named Asavar Kul united the savage tribes of the Chaos Wastes and made war upon the realms of men. The invaders entered the distant northern kingdom of Kislev and sacked its largest city, Prague. They sacrificed its people to their dark gods, and any who managed to flee were driven into the freezing wilderness. The Empire seemed powerless to stop the Chaos Horde, and many feared that the end of the world was at hand. But in the Empire's darkest hour, a nobleman from the south named Magnus rallied the people of the Empire to resist the invaders, uniting the warring Elector Counts in the process. The Imperial Army marched to the rescue of the Kislevite capital, fighting Kool's army in a massive battle outside the city walls. Joined by mighty heroes from all across the land, Magnus defeated Kool in single combat, and the Chaos Horde was scattered to the winds. Blessed by the gods and heralded as the true emperor, Magnus returned to Nuln in triumph. But even as the old world celebrated Magnus's victory, the Dark Gods were planning their revenge. High Elves of Ulthuan are masters of the winds of magic, and none are more renowned than the High Princes of Safri. You were born to a life of great power and privilege, destined one day to take your place among the Archmages at the Tower of Hoeth. The arts of magic came easily to you, but as your skill grew, so did your arrogance. A rivalry with another student at the tower spun out of control, culminating in a magical duel that left your rival dead and one of your teachers crippled. As punishment for your recklessness and disobedience, you were banished from Ulfbon until you had atoned for your crimes. Cast out with nothing but a few magical tomes and the clothes on your back, you journeyed to the old world in search of adventure. At first, the news of the chaos invasion meant little to you. Your people had been fighting the Dark Gods and their armies for thousands of years. But then you learned that Teclis, Hoeth's greatest living archmage, had come to the Old World to offer his support to Magnus and the Empire. Believing your moment of redemption was at hand, you rushed north to join the Imperial Army. Magnus accepted your offer at once, glad for another mage to battle cool sorcerers. As the day of battle dawned, you were determined to prove your worth or die in the attempt. While Tekla shielded Magnus from the enemy's spells, you fought cool sorcerers and demons with all the skill at your command. 
By the time the battle was over, you were a hero. Magnus offered you a place in his retinue, a position of tremendous power and influence. Such trifles meant nothing to you. All that mattered was the opinion of Teclis, who could end your bitter exile with just a few words. And so you have chosen to travel to Nuln with the Imperial Army, determined to win the favor of the High Lawmaster at any cost. If that meant protecting Magnus from his enemies and rebuilding the ravaged human empire, then that is what you will do. It was an age of lawlessness and despair, a time of dark magic, treachery, and war. It is a night made for witchery and evil deeds, and across the city, guardsmen clutch their weapons tightly and count the hours until the dawn. Sleep is hard to come by on a night such as this. The air is tense, and memories of the battle at Kislev leave you restless and on edge. Suddenly, a peal of thunder shatters the stillness, followed by a howling wind that shakes the tower to its foundations. Foul magic curdles the air, and screams echo in the courtyard outside. The tower is under attack! There is sorcery in the air. I can feel it. I'd best get to the courtyard and see what's wrong. Thanks, Sigma, you're here. There's monsters everywhere. The tower's being overrun. I can see that, you fool. Where is Magnus? Upstairs in the throne room. There's armor in a chest by the stairs. Take whatever you need, but hurry. As you reach the throne room, the air seethes with foul magics. A chaos sorceress stands before the throne, and Magnus, the savior of the Empire, is caught within her spell. Shouting a challenge, you prepared your counterspells. But the enemy struck first. By the time you regain your senses, the battle is over. The sorceress is gone, leaving you and Magnus for dead. 
the shouts of angry men fill the throne room. But these are not guardsmen. They are witch hunters, the Empire's feared inquisitors, led by none other than the infamous Heinrich Voss. You are under arrest for the murder of the Emperor Magnus, Voss declares. They try to tell him about the sorceress, but Voss refuses to listen. I see no sorceress here, he shouts. Only you and a room full of dead men. Confess your crimes, elf, Voss threatens. We will have the truth from you one way or another. After a week in the dungeons, you'll tell me everything I want to know. But before the witch hunter could make good on his threat, a commanding voice filled the room. Stop this madness at once! This is the work of chaos, Teclas says. Sorcery of the darkest kind. Teclas examines Magnus in silence. He lives, thank the gods, the High Elf says at last. But he is in the grip of a powerful curse. It is only a matter of time before he succumbs. No one outside this room must know what happened here. If the people learn that Magnus has fallen, then everything he fought for will have been for nothing. The fate of the Empire lies in our hands. We must find this sorceress and end the curse before it's too late. If Magnus dies, the Empire dies with him.